Hello trainers, Pokemon Professor here. And I'm going to give you guys you guys an update on Android spoofing and how to spoof on Android. I know a lot of you have had problems with spoofing on Android um, due to the recent update Pokemon has done for spoofing. So let's go ahead and go over that. So first of all, you're going to want to have Android version 5.1 to Android version 8.0 if you want to spoof on your phone without rooting, okay? Um, also, another thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure that your Google Play services are downgraded to at least 12.6.85, all right? It needs to be 12.6.85 in order to spoof on the Android or lower, okay? And it needs to be Android 5.1 to Android 8.0. Anything above that can't spoof anymore, okay? Unless you root the phone. So, you can root the phone if you'd like, but rooting phones is a difficult process. Um, some phones don't root, and some phones, um, it's a more complicated process. You need to have, you need to flash the, uh, the hard drive onto the phone, and just a whole bunch of stuff, and sometimes it doesn't even work anyways, um, depending on the phone and what security measures are implemented on it. For instance, the Galaxy S10 cannot spoof without being rooted at all, okay? So um, any devices with Android Pie also cannot spoof, so that's another thing to watch out for, is if you're on Android Pie, you will not be able to spoof. If you're on a Galaxy S10, you also won't be able to spoof uh, because you can't root those phones. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how you're going to want to find out um, your Google Play services. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings and then you click apps and then you find Google Play services, the app. And you go ahead and open that up, scroll on down, um, and it'll tell you the version at the very bottom. So there's version 16.8.89, and pretty much what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to make sure that you get a version that is compatible with your phone. So after you find out that information... You can go to this apkmir.com website and you can download Google Play Services 12.6.85, okay? So this is apkmir.com. You can go there and you can search Google Play Services 12.6.85. Here's the, uh, the address right here. Let me just go through it with you guys. apkmir.com slash apk slash google inc slash google play services slash google play services 12 685 released all right so that's all you need to do as far as that goes and then you should be good to go on spoofing on an unrooted phone and again this is only going to work on unrooted phones from android version 5.1 to android version 8.0 okay unrooted phones only and then you'll go ahead and you go ahead and uninstall google play services and you disable automatic updates on the google play services so it doesn't automatically update and then you go ahead and download the apk mirror and you go ahead and open that up and install google play services 12.6.85 and you should be good to go on your android to spoof. Now, if you guys want to go the routing method, that's a whole nother ball game. So what you're going to want to do with that is if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to get an app which will automatically um, route the phone for you. Let me show you how to do that. All right. If you want to route your phone, you can go ahead and go to this site here, oneclickroute.com and pretty much as you can see it says root now so go ahead and click that and it'll download the app and then you should be able to root your phone now this isn't going to work on every phone some phones have security measures that prevent you from being able to root the phone 
So it's not a given that you will be able to root the phone that way, but it is definitely worth a try. Uh, unfortunately, if you're on some of the newer phones, they prevent you from rooting altogether and you're just not gonna be able to do that. But if you're on an older phone, you might be able to find some luck with an app like that. So that's all that I got for you guys on this one. I just wanted to update you on that. Make sure you're aware of what's going on with all that. And if you want to get back on Android and start spoofing again, I think pretty much I've covered all the bases. So, yeah, that's all I got for you this time. Professor Spoofing out.